Hello, my name is Sean V. Martin, and today I'm playing Croc, Legend of the Gobos. Level 6 of World 4, Panic at Platform Pete's Lair. Man, these guys are huge fans of alliteration. Okay, so what do we got going on? We got rotating platforms. Whoa, they rotate really fast! Okay, so gotta be prepared for that. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, they don't, they don't stay on that side for very long. You almost have to be in the air before they're even in place. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. Did, did anyone... Okay, this is gonna be really weird. Did anyone... know... Oh shoot. I, I see now I'm getting distracted by thinking about things that are not related to Croc. Okay. Is anyone old enough who's watching to remember the show Bobby's World? It was created. I don't know if it was created by, but it was primarily uh, voiced by and uh, written by Howie Mandel. Yes, that How Howie Mandel, the, the one from Deal or No Deal, the one from America's Got Talent. Um, he had this show when he still had all that big curly hair where he voiced what was essentially a little boy version of himself. And I don't know where Howie Mandel is from, but his mother... What's going on here? Why aren't they turning? They turn rarely. Okay, have to be careful. Oh, I see. Okay, there are different legs of the journey. Oh, shoot. Am I wasting time by stopping to get that? Yes, I was, but I'm okay. Okay, I'm not gonna risk that. I'm just gonna wait for that to turn twice. I'll, I'll fill in the time with talking. Can I just go kill him, please? Uh, so this show, Bobby's World, I don't know where Howie Mandel is from, but for some reason, his his mother talked like she was from Fargo, like the movie where, where uh, Francis McDormand just says like, oh, don't you know, like, oh, that's too bad. Like, she's got this weird Midwestern- Whoa, 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 whoa! What just happened there? Okay, when do these things turn? Apparently I don't know- Oh, God! What? Uh... Do I have to jump before- Okay. Did I just die before I even went anywhere? Yes, I do have to jump before it turns. Anyway, his mom talked in that weird uh, Midwestern American accent, which sounds really funny. And the, the the funniest thing about the whole thing was that his mother was voiced by him. <laughs> so he did the voice of Bobby, which was like a kind of high-pitched, like almost like a Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, kind of like that. And then he also voiced his mother who talked, wow, that was really lucky, I kind of skated over that, who uh, of course talked like uh, like that, like uh, Fargo. And then his dad, I think, I think his dad was him as well, and he just talked like him. Okay, so does this one... Whoa, 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 this one moves up, too? Does it turn over at any point? Do I have to be worried about that? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna be worried about these turning. Alright, what's in the box? I think I could go crazy trying to just study the patterns of these. Okay, does this thing turn upside? I'm just gonna stand and watch this one, I'm so close to the end. Do these turn upside down at any point? Yes. Yes, they do. Okay, so now I'm gonna wait for the sequence to start again. Now I'll jump onto this one. Now it should take me, yes. Okay. Done! Okay, next room. Oh boy. The, I have a feeling these are just gonna get crazier and crazier. All right, where are we going? I'm scared. Okay, I should have just stayed on that. Now I'm now I'm stuck, aren't I? Nope, I could have gone. Damn it. Now they're gonna turn upside down. No? Okay, there's there must be no memorizing this. When do they turn upside down? <laughs> this is like the worst version of Simon ever. I can't remember this many things. Didn't I see them turn upside down when I came in? I guess not. I, I'm imagining things. All right, take me over there, please. Nope, see, there they go. <sighs> yes, I was right. They do turn upside down immediately. And then it takes a very long time for them to do it again for some reason, but they do. Unless it's random, which that's awful. <laughs> I really hope it's not random. 
All right, this one, now where? Ugh. Please don't turn upside down. Where am I going? Take me somewhere. Okay. Now those are upside down, but I think I have to go to them next. Come over here, please. Thank you. Next, next, next. And now to that one. Is it gonna come down to me or do I have to jump up to it? Okay, it's coming down. Now where am I going? Uh, where am I going? To that. Okay. Jump. Oh God, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, I was so close, I was so close. I was doing so well. All right, here we go again. This is a stupid, stupidly long sequence. All right. It appears that as long as you keep moving, it works. It, it works in order. As long as you don't miss any of the connections, you should be fine. Okay, so here we go. Now I gotta wait for this one. Do do do. Sidestep my way to the center. Okay. Oh, I really wanted to jump to. Why am I taking unnecessary risks? Because I, because I would just want to get out of this room. That's why. Okay, do it again. Do it again. How many lives do I have left? Probably not enough. Next. Next. Oh, I really. I wish there were a way I could skip some of these. I just want to jump to that one that's like, I can almost taste it, it's so close. Okay. Next. Come here. Did I really not notice before now that Baron Dante is in those stained glass windows? Because apparently I didn't. He's over there, see him? Oh, what are you kidding? Come on. Now that one just wasn't fair. Okay, I only have four lives left, so this this is really gonna start to count now. This stupid, unwieldy camera. Go, 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 go. Why can't I jump to that one? Why don't I have a double jump? I wish that like halfway through the game or three quarters of the way through the game, you would unlock a double jump. That is invaluable. And that reminds me, I've decided that the game that I will play after this game is going to be... I, I want to replace it with another platformer, but uh, I want to pick something that I find a little less frustrating. Not that I haven't enjoyed this game, I have, but uh, it its design has a few problems. I'm, I'm just gonna say that. Uh, the next game that I'm going to play is the excellent Psychonauts, which is made by Double... D double, uh, double dare? Double, uh, <laughs> double time. That's the word that I'm looking for. Double fine. Why can't I? Double fine. Double fine is the team, uh, led by Tim Schafer. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. <sighs> A team led by Tim Schafer that would go on to make the, uh, very good and very overlooked game, Brutal Legend, which, uh, features the voice talents of Jack Black. Uh, as well as a bunch of other games in the old days, uh, games like Grim Fandango for LucasArts. Uh, it's, Psychonauts is, a, just like uh, Brutal Legend, a very overlooked game. It's an excellent platformer, it is very funny. It's supremely funny, in fact, I might spend most of my playthrough just laughing at it, which I hope you'll be able to deal with. Now, I'm going to shut up and see if I can just freaking do this. Going to concentrate. Okay. Can I back off the camera a little bit? No, not really. Nope, careful. I'm so glad this platform doesn't move. Do I, do I have to jump to that? Doesn't it come down to me? I guess not. Does it turn upside down at some point? All right, I'm jumping. And now I'm going here. What? What? How is this happening? How am I missing them? <sighs> I bet you didn't know I could make that sound. I don't know if I knew I could make that sound. Alright. 
I'm just gonna shut up and do it. Do it. Next. Proximo. Thank you. Next. Are you serious? I can't believe I have used practically all my lives in this room. I have one more chance after this, if I don't get it. There will be hell to pay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Unnecessarily difficult. That's what I'm gonna... That is my ruling. There's no reason this these pathways have to be this complicated. Why do they have to go through their motions twice? I don't... I don't understand. That was just dumb. Alright, this is my last try. If I don't get it, that's it. Then it's game over. Until I have to do it again. I'm gonna pull out a win on this one and just be really impressive, right? I, I meant to do it like this. I meant to lose every single life so that the last run through would be really impressive. Come here. I wish that if you fell off, it didn't punish you by killing you. That's, that's what it is. That is the unnecessarily difficult part. If you just fell onto a platform and had to start from scratch, then I wouldn't be complaining. But the fact that you die and lose a life because of it, that's the part that I don't like. That's the part that hurts. All right. This one, now this one, now this one, now that one might come back. Now, this is the furthest I've made it, right? Don't jinx yourself, Sean. Where are we going now? Can I jump to that? Gah! No! No! And this is what I do between levels. I go back to, to this one and then I do this. Yep, I don't even touch the platforms anymore because I know exactly how far to jump to land on that. And then I run around here. And then I get my one-ups. And I usually do this two or three times. This time I will probably do it three, because I only have one life left. And then I go back to the level that I was doing and say hello to you guys as if nothing ever happened. Isn't that fun?